Yep, yep, yep. Life over linearity. Businesses that stress life and creativity over linearity are the ones that win. Just something I've been thinking about lately. When you think about life and how random it can be, how unexpected and unpredictable, how wild and loving in that wildness it can be, uh, I mean, that's what makes businesses win. When they follow pattern to perpetuate creativity and not just follow pattern and institute policy to do so. That's ridiculous. Businesses that win, like Sonic, are the ones that encourage life and creativity and randomness and love that whim and that loving lunacy of the day to day. It's just something that I've noticed uh, while working at Sonic and even before Sonic in the, in the wine industry. I mean, businesses that embrace creativity, the in-the-moment nature of wine and of business and of life, creativity, just letting things happen and then reacting to that. Those are the ones that survive. Those are the ones that grow. Those are the ones that are immortal, essentially, and have employees working for them that really love working for them. Not even working for them, but working there, working at that place of business. It's not a matter of you know working for them. It's a matter of working at that location and being part of that location and being part of that story. So again, in business, life over linearity, creativity over code, no pattern, no pattern, only passion. And if you have pattern, if you have policy, that's great. But the patterns and the policy need to be encouraging of creativity, the randomness, the wildness. Then the business will grow, as I've noticed. And then the business will be of more color, of more dimension, of more diversity, of more just encouraging and loving and beneficial dynamic reciprocity. Love your employees. They will love you back. And there will only be love and creativity and further just further energy in the day, in the day-to-day, -day, and in the life of the business itself. And if the business has life, guess what? It's living and it lives on. Professor Mikey out.